would you like to see what's going on with my new monster Mac? It's time. What happened to Mac? You remember my new guy, Mac? Man, did I make a lot of money off him so far. <laughs> uh, Mac, of of course, by the way, a round of applause for Joe Rogan. Uh, he's really, listen, uh, I like that, you know, it's something we all watch. It's something that all brings us together and you got to watch it. You got to see what's going on. And I want to salute Joe Rogan for all the years bringing us all together so that we could make fun of the same thing. Nice. That, it really, it doesn't matter what it is. You know, I always said that um, the world was better when there were three television shows, Johnny Carson, this and that. It doesn't matter if those shows were good. If we're all watching the same show, we're on the same page, even if that page is shit. Um, so thank you to Joe Rogan for putting us on this crazy page that we could all relate to. We have nothing else to do. This is just humansy shit, okay? <laughs> There's nothing more important. Um, so thank you. Let's get into Mac, our newest star. You remember Mac. What did, where did we leave off with him? And our last, was it our last episode, the big expose of the Big Mac fight? Yeah. The missing episode that they deleted, episode 213. Wow. Now I'm gonna say this. I know, and I'm going to need your help, because I know that Mac, not going to be like my other fools. If I keep doing this to Mac, I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> He's going to bring trouble. And I could, I know that, listen, I've been doing this for long enough where I go, okay, you know, this one is going to bring trouble. This one won't. Is it worth it? Should we do it? I still think it's worth it, but I'm <laughs> marking your words right now. He's not like the rest of them. Maybe I'm wrong. I feel like Mac will be the one to bring unwanted trouble to the show. So what I'm about to do and what I'm going to continue to do is very risky and risque. So I need you to appreciate that. And I need you to be there. Listen, we take a lot of risks on this show, saying some tremendous things about people. I hope you're going to be there for me when I really need it. When the guns are aimed at me, when the courts are aimed at me, when the people have turned. When everybody's accusing me, it will happen again. It's coming. I can feel it. It's going to be a big disaster for me and my family. Will you be there to tell the world, no, they're lying? I hope so. <laughs> With that, it's time to show you what I learned about Max since our last episode. Holy fuck. Just light stuff. Thank you. Nothing I need crazy. your help. Listen, I'm only... I'm not only anything. We're going to show you Mac. <laughs> You're uh, only fans. I'm only fans. Oh, that's pretty cool. Fox. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Big Mike, Mac, Logan. I mean, really, the Bring Back group, our uh, official Facebook group over at redbarradio.net slash BBG. It's been filled. You know, back when Todd Detter was around, they didn't want Big Mike stuff. Can you believe this? Todd Detter would message me, enough with the Big Mike stuff. We all hate it. Okay. I would call Big Mike the star of season 18. Yeah, one of the bigger breakout stars. <laughs> and then Mac? Are you kidding me? So Todd Detter almost bullied us away from covering my... I mean, he didn't, but he wanted to. Think about that. Um, <laughs> Mac is our newest star. He's the big bearded monster. And we're going to show you some stuff that we found about Mac. He has his own channel. And listen, before... That last episode, I knew nothing about Mac. I only knew of him from Impulsive. So all this stuff I said about, oh, he's tiny from House of a Thousand Corpses. He's Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. He'll throw a fucking lit rake at you and stab you and you're hanging from the barn. It's bleeding. This is a B-movie killer guy. Fake blood. Beware children at play. Trauma works with him. All of these things that I predicted based on his look have come true. And this is where I started getting worried. All this farm stuff I say about him, all this barn stuff I say about him, he actually works around a barn. I got to show you this video. He has his own channel called Macklin. Macklin, that's his full name. M-A-C-L-I-N. It's got 10.2 thousand subscribers. It's like Madonna. 
I have more subscribers than him, meaning I should be on Impulsive. According to Big Mike, yep. Mac is garbage, according to Big Mike. Um, Mac is crazy, and he's got all these strange-ass YouTube videos, um, and nothing stranger than what I'm about to show you. Uh, please subscribe to his channel. Did it's you want to show that one of making pieces of a million of just him cutting the paper as a little intro? Yeah, to what I the think kind so. of stuff he does. So Mac is I would uh an artist. And do we have a time code here? No, or I, I just have... came up with this idea just now. Mac is an artist. Can you go in the transcripts and search Canon? The camera company Canon. Go in the transcripts, search Canon. I'm gonna show you what this artist does you're going to be blown away this show is going to keep blown this is like a um what are they a max cell commercial from the 90s she's too young but max cell the tapes they'll blow you away um do you want that time code right now oh yeah 1655 look at that on the fly 1655 wait till you see this so i'm going to explain to you what we're seeing here this is max stream it's called Mind Space 89, Making Pieces of a Million. Mac makes notebooks, handcrafted artisanal hipster notebooks that he sells. He's an artist, but what's so funny is he never makes art. He has the nerve to make accidents. Do you know what this means? So an artist requires two things, talent and nerve. People never talk about nerve. The nerve to think that something you make is good enough to sell artistically. Uh, It's just as important as talent. Now, what is so weird about this new crop of content creators is they have the nerve, but no talent. Comedians, the same thing. The nerve, but no talent. So they do these tremendous acts of creation, but they don't have the talent to do it. Just the nerve. And they end up creating a lot, but it's all bogus and strange so mac does finger paintings right anyone could do them if we had what the nerve but we don't we're good people we go i'm not gonna do that anybody could do that i don't have the nerve um mac does all of this stuff and he makes notebooks and by making notebooks i mean he takes copy paper hold on let me show see this printer paper He takes this. He has a 1990s paper cutter with a dull blade. You've seen these at Kinko's. He takes the paper. He puts it in the the, uh, paper cutter. And he goes. And then he stacks the paper. Now they're smaller. Now they're like this. He stacks that. Then he takes a piece of cardboard. Puts it in the paper. Puts that, a stack of 30 copy papers, stack of carbon. Then he takes a hole puncher, one that can go through 30 papers. Punch, punch. Then he takes brass chads, the kind that you would use for a book report in school. He puts those in, bends the backs back, (laughs) stamps the back with a Mac rubber stamp, and sells them for around $45 a piece. Actually, only $20. Oh, $20. I want to get one. Anyone, <laughs> and I mean anyone, could do this. I've basically made you look at this book. It's beautiful. And we know this because he streams a full hour of him doing this so, as if it's like a high skill endeavor. What I'm about to show, I don't know if they're called chads. What are they called? Brass? <laughs> what are those say, things called? I don't know. I laughed, dude. You said what is chad. a chad? I don't know. A hanging chad? What do they call it? Those little brass things? You, you would use them in school. You push them in. <laughs> Uh, let's just cut to the beginning of a stream. He'll explain what the fuck he's doing. Mind space. And then remember that time code because it's very important. Wait till you see this shit. I don't know if they're called chads. Look up brass. There are these little things. Oh, I was right. Brads, not chads. Brads. <laughs> or Ryan's. Here he comes. This is so it's our- Thursday, September 3rd. So he thinks he's Virgil Abloh. And he's right, because Virgil's just as shitty. 
This is how a Virgil is made. You know, these are motherfuckers. Like, Kanye West is the only one who could be retarded and good at the same time. These other imitators, they're using the Kanye footprint, but they're not making anything breathtaking. So he sits down, Virgil style, and believe me, the Virgil inspiration is going to be very clear very soon uh, when I show you what's next. You're not going to believe all the things he does. Watch this. 4.32 p.m. I'm here. I'm going to be working on my, what I call, pieces of a million. Look at this. uh, You're going to die. Little booklets that are, where'd they go? They're a little booklet right here. Look how many and people know inside Virgil. each and every one of them is one of the paintbrushes that so I. So he's holding a precious shotgun mic, which isn't traditionally used as a handheld microphone. Why does he do it? Art, bro. You'll notice he's shot in anamorphic widescreen, uh, which is not a common streaming format. He's doing this to be different. You'll also notice he's shooting this at a. 24 frames per second frame rate, making him choppy. 24 second frame rate actually does not work well with live streaming. It gets ultra jittery. I've tried it. We're in 30p, by the way, but it says 60p, but it's not. Uh, You really want to be in 30 for live streaming. Otherwise, it's a little too choppy. Does give a more cinematic feel a little bit, but ultimately you're getting more... De- degradation of stream than anything else. Here he is. And it's color corrected also uh, to look cinematic. But if you're looking it up close, you go, this is a pixelated mess. Here's more. I used in order Very to technical make show today. I went to film school. Big painting. Watch this. Fingerprints. So you can see right here. Oh, that's the note. That's the handwritten note that pops out. <laughs> but uh, this is called a piece of a million. Um, I'm trying to create something special for the people that are wanted to buy my art but uh not necessarily able to afford the bigger stuff of course so uh so he's filming this in the back of logan's house a space that logan's allocated for him to do his streams you can hear the rest of the house screaming and hollering as chef katie makes them buffalo blts so he's trying to do this fucking deep artistic shit with a bunch of people screaming right off cam. You could hear George Janko bouncing off the walls. <laughs> Logan doing a slap boxing tournament with a Russian athlete. And he's sitting here teary eyed trying to convince the world he's the next Van Gook. Yeah. Yeah. So we kind of go through the process. Unfortunately, process. my overhead camera uh, is not connected today. You're going to die. So when you I'm going to be reading the chat in order to... Uh, to provide some value other than seeing exactly what I was doing. Um, so yeah, it, it's a pretty simple process. The cool part go. about all this is that I want to make sure that everyone that gets something from me knows that, you know, it's a special piece. Okay. And- this is called faux artism. I got to say my least favorite type of artist is that kind of guy who goes, Oh, I'm like tattooing a different word yes. on every person's arm to make a full story. That's... Oh, I'm making a video of someone from each country yeah. in the world. And they all think they're like the first guy yes. to do something like that. Like his pieces of a Listen, million where he sends a little piece to each person. It's like, we get it. Um, Bowing to a tedious act is not art. It's factory work. Okay. <laughs> to do something tedious is not artistic. It's crazy. So he's making these notebooks by hand for no reason. You could buy these better anywhere. You could go to Walgreens and get a Mead mini notebook. It's more professional. He thinks he's going to make an artisan notebook. Now, anyone can make these. The reason we don't is because there's no value in it for us. And it's a tremendous amount of time to cut all the paper by hand. Do you see who would do this? Imagine if you got a five star notebook. And they go, it was cut by hand. By You go, that's too much. Use a m- mechanical cutter, please, for my sake. <laughs> I don't want it cut by hand. So the fact that anyone would want a notebook cut by hand is insane. It's crazy. I mean, it would be like a man who makes pencils by hand. Why? It's too much. It's, he's probably made a pencil or tooth- out of I a make little toothpicks <laughs> by hand. Here's a box of a thousand toothpicks. They're all made by hand. I get one done a year. And I sell them for three bucks. 
It's crazy. You don't need to do it. So here he is. And the stuff that they do, it would be crazy if someone was doing something like this that actually took a ton of like skill yeah. and really hard work. But the stuff There's that no they skill. choose to do is pretty easy. Exactly. It's, it's called just... faux artism. It means you want to be looked at as an artist, but what you're doing is really something tedious and stupid. And people are only impressed because you're willing to do it. So here he is. Now, remember, one of my first accusations is what? He's a killer. <laughs> he has a machete. He'll come get you. Um, what is a paper cutter lever exactly like? A machete. Wow. He's basically pulling a machete down. You're going to hear the, the slice of the blade. So, okay, it's not perfect. He's not out whopping heads off and, and cutting himself a path through the jungle, but he's using a giant blade and we're hearing the slice. That's close. It's like a guillotine. Listen to this. Here, here's him in action. And then you're going to see something even worse and then even worse and then even worse. Watch this. Wow. Okay. Is that not close enough to, to, to killing? <laughs> You want to hear that again? This isn't a designer SFX moment. This is him. Listen to this. He's lining up the paper. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so now my imagination is being, you know, played out. Like he's playing out my imagination. So it works. Um, that's violence. <laughs> All right. How many trees needed to die, bro, for notebooks? Uh, let's go to uh, that time code now. Remember what I said about how it's shot, right? It's a little different than your average live stream, but junky, right? Shittily done. Somebody, he's going to start doing a Q&A. 1645, did you say? Uh, 1656. 1656, pretty good. 1656. So he's taking questions from a live chat. I'm going to go a little bit earlier. And somebody asked, Dude, I like your camera setup. What is it? Now, a real artist has no problem sharing his art. Because if you're a good artist, even if somebody has the same tools, they can't replicate what you do. Like I showed you my light. Doesn't matter. You think if Melton got that light, his show would be good? It's not how it works. What you're about to see is Macklin, Mac, declining a question. This is some serious shit. This proves he's not a real artist. No real artist would ever do this to somebody inquiring about how to make art. Now, I want to remind you this. This is an even bigger idea. His claim, the reason why you should buy a notebook at home for $20, it's just copy paper. I want to sell you these notebooks because I want you to go home and create art. I'm selling you the blank pages. It's up to you to create the beautiful art. That's why I do it. That's what he says. Oh, it's so touching, right? <laughs> Wouldn't that same guy also offer up how this cinematic film look is made when asked? Well, let's find out if he does. This is the real Macklin, the Macklin that I always knew existed. I'll look Whoa. out. Watch um, this. I have a secret website. God, am I find good. It. Good luck. Watch but, this. Um, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Watch I want to bring you guys some cool stuff. I, I, I love this. I, I think the identity is really, really fantastic. What? So I want, I want Watch other this. people to be able to have it as well. How did I get my stream to look like a crime documentary? This is called... How did I get my scene to look like... Or screen? What did he stream. say? Stream. Stream. How did I get my stream to look like a crime documentary? Now, what they're basically asking is, why is it uh, anamorphic widescreen? Why does it look like... Uh, you know, a really shitty Netflix movie about true crime. He's right. Let's see. Macklin should. He loves art. He wants everyone to do art and spread art. That's the only purpose he has, right? Listen to this. How did I get my stream to look like a crime documentary? This is called Years of Looking into Film uh, and Cinematic Looks and How to Turn a Canon 5D, a, a DSLR, into a cinema camera. Um, keep looking, guys. This is my look. Keep looking, guys. This is my look. Whoa. So he won't. It's called years of experience of how to turn a Canon 5D into a cinema camera. First of all, it's not a cinema camera. It looks like garbage. Keep looking, guys. This is my look. He's a selfish artist. <laughs> Have you ever heard anything like that? That is 
was so. You want to hear that again? And it's not like anyone would even be able to make something that looks exactly the same. It Everyone's doesn't even film matter. looks doesn't different even anyway. Matter. It doesn't even matter. This would be and like if so somebody asked what camera. Look. I'm not telling you what camera I have. Then you'll be able to defeat me or in that's the art. Like if you didn't want to show someone what audio settings it's you insane. were using right now. It's insane. <laughs> Only somebody who sucks would withhold information as shitty as that. Into film uh, and cinematic looks and how to turn a Canon 5D, a, a DSLR into a cinema camera. Um, keep looking, guys. This is my look. Wow. <laughs> Right. Only I could get away with stuff like zoom ins. That's mine. Keep looking, guys. Zoom ins are mine. That makes sense. But to tell somebody, when somebody asks me, hey, Mike, what kind of mixer you have? I go, guys, keep looking. I'm not going to tell you. Huh? This is mine. <laughs> That's not really uh, a competitive secret that you should be holding back. All right. Now, things get worse. Um, when I said this guy was a monster, when I said he lives on a farm, when I said he's digging, holes to put bodies in and helping logan dispose of secrets well i thought i was kidding again this whole show should be called thought i was kidding with mike gets it right um this next video and do we start from the beginning jules here yeah okay i'm not kidding this is on his youtube channel from may 4th 2020 i've never seen this i've never even seen him outside of impulsive this is his video. Let's uh, hit play and see what happens here. So, so far, it's a scene of a farm. It's oh, Sunday, May 3rd, 2.08 p.m. This whole weekend I worked on building a pool, which is a mountain stream runoff into a hole in the ground. I put a tarp down, built up the walls so they don't fall in, and uh -oh. uh, sloped it down so that is a place to go swimming. It's great for a hot day out here. It's going to get really hot in the summer. It's not He's too bad right fire. now. I don't know what's happening. Eventually it'll get really, really hot. And... Uh, I want, to, I want to have a place this to swim. This is his house. I you know there's places up the mountain, but this. that's a lot of hiking. And, uh, Look at this sometimes place. Sometimes you just want to go down. Keep sit. watching. So I did all that. This is kind of the first iteration of this a natural really pool that I want to build. Eventually, I'd like my house to have a big either concrete slab or actually just dig out of some sort of mountain, big piece of rock, and turn that into a pool maybe make a waterfall that goes in. This is in the house that I've designed for myself. Watch uh, this, guys. I can't fall asleep at night. It's just one of the cool elements. But it's this big natural pool. I love natural. I want to show you how um, it's shot. I'm not going to do any zooming. Watering zoom holes that you can swim in that kind of have some sort of uh, plant life around it that are meant to purify the water. And the construction and design of the pool is such that it, it filters itself, it drains itself, it does everything automatically so there's nothing I have to do um, unless I wanted to heat the water or okay. something else like that. Should we fast forward here? We could like two minutes in. Yeah, well, that's where we're at. Okay, let's go here. This is where it gets. Look at this. Oh my god. What's he doing? Alright, so here we got my pool. I'm running out of battery so I'm going to hopefully make this short. But I got my pool. Got plywood, lay down a... Uh, okay, what he's done, this is not a pool. I know you're hearing the word pool. He has dug random holes in the earth, filled them with sewer water and blue tarp to keep the water in. And this is what Logan lets him do, I'm assuming on his ranch. Looks I don't know. Like Greg Paul's <laughs> ranch. This is really scary. Here we go. Tarp underneath and then a plastic Tarps, sheeting. holes. I got my pool rules right here. Look at this. Max blue hole it says. Over here's the intake. Look at this. He's dug it's all this. This is what he's doing. Digging holes in the desert. Three inch drainage pipe going in right he's here. He's making drainage pipe made out of an old log. With a little landscaping. No. Over there's the dam. There's nope. a nope. safety overflow valve No here. there is not. It's a pipe. It goes from here. 
all the way down to over here. Somebody's out there. And oh my uh God. yeah, then we got the pool. Watch this, the this pool gets worse. Out into a nice river. No, it doesn't. That's not a river. Look at this, what he's showing us here. This little fucking creek. And there it is. That's a pool that he now built. Now we go in. This is where I, I'm uh Look at what he's doing. With this, part. this is a found footage film we called. I really Creep don't like two. to go in. But that's <laughs> you okay. ever seen VHS? Look at this. He's gonna go in, folks. Here we go. The big hope. scene. The camera keeps rolling. Wait till you see this. Never seen anything like this. This would be like if Logan Paul was caught uh, in a low rider doing a drive by in South Central LA. <laughs> um, this would be like if Big it's Mike was actually on off. Beavis and Butthead. Shout out Jesse Istler. This oh, is uh, Mac getting into a hole in the desert. You could hear the water. And um, boy. I don't. I think I've met my match here. Look at this. Sand on the bottom. I cannot. Good. This is way beyond my skill level to deal with this. Look at this. He's gone under, folks. Look at this. This is the shot, by the way. I'm zooming in. Imagine seeing this. You're driving through the desert. You see this? And uh. Can't even hear him anymore. You thought the Unabomber was scary? <laughs> Look at this. He's coming! He's coming through! Oh! Macklin. That's the whole video, folks. Unbelievable! Do you see that? Do you see? <laughs> was that not? <laughs> wow! Okay, well, I hope you understand what I'm doing, but... You know, um... I... Uh, some people are unpredictable. Some, uh, sometimes you don't know what you're going to get. Oh my God, I almost forgot yeah. about this part. Um, <laughs> Holy shit. Mac loves to create. Now, he joined the Low Game, the Logan Paul house. He was originally hired to, like, help Logan with stuff. And Logan's so stupid, he hires these guys for dirt cheap. And, he, and this is his selling point. Dude, you come work for us? You have access to all my editing software, the recording studio, like, this is like you could do a lot for yourself too. And then when they actually start working for themselves, he hates it. Dude, you're working for me. This isn't about you. But all these guys, they go, oh, you know what? Why spend all this time working for Logan when I could get my own shit going? Which Logan never expects, even though he told them they could do. So when Mac first moved in, and then I've got something else. For, you're not going to believe what I When Mac first moved in, where do we have it? Okay. He. Wanted to be a rapper. Not just wanted to be. And uh, you're not going to believe this. A lot of fools that we played on the show, they attempt rap and they were all horrible. Not Mac. He's incredible. I mean, he really is incredible. Would you like to hear his album? He has a full album. I'm not kidding about this at all. This is not a joke. Um, we found this. It's called Limbo. By Macklin Bilski. Someone it's in the you found it. I forget. Who. Oh, yeah. It's on his YouTube. Should we listen to the opening? And then I've got some choice moments picked out. Just play it from here, right? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, Macklin Bilski, the MC. Enjoy. Yeah. I swear to God, this is not a joke or a bit. Love my biggest opus. I'm living in the moment. Yeah, I'm in my zone. And I'm looking for a lighter. About to blow, about to fly, losing track of time. I'ma run this shit till I motherfucking die. My name's Magnus Bills. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, it's Sammy Rose. Coming with the crew. Don't this forget, all, new think. kid. Yeah, I'm coming through. Listen. It's your boy CD. in the booth. And this is Quasi. Yo, it's Tiny B. Tiny B. Yo, it's... I'm not kidding. Yo, it's Tiny B. Now, I don't know who that is. It's one of his... Oh, my ears. It's one of his friends. But they said Tiny around Mac. All right. This is the intro track called um, In My Zone. Love is Macklin Bilski's opus. Now, this gets way better. This is not cringe. Don't say cringe. Listen to this. Oh. Yeah. You haven't heard it yet. They're going, this isn't good. This is an intro. It's 58 seconds. You haven't heard it. 
it gets really good. We're waiting for our Jules, all the weeds in here. Oh. I'm in my zone. Listen to this. Macklin. I've been waiting on this shit for what's This is another guy, but got that bang and I ain't even comes. in my home. So he creates, huh? Listen to this. Thank you. We gotta get high for Macklin. Got the lighter again? Did I get Take a page up on my book. Take a little look. No, there ain't no competition. Every so, uh, where do we go to his verse? Uh, three minutes in to this? Is his first verse here, Jules? I think so. Yeah. Okay, three minutes in. It's gonna be his uh, first verse. He's doing like a collab. With a lot of guys on the track. Listen to this. Watch this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, ask me if I give a fuck. I promise that I don't. Got a lot of pretty bitches trying to slide up on my phone. You can't <laughs> ghost me. I'm a ghost. I'm the boy that got the most. You be sitting on the bench. I just want to. It's not what I thought it would be. <laughs> you be sitting on the bench. I have a fucking smoke. Fu I thought you were about art. This is from 2020. Okay. This isn't old. He's doing this while making artisanal notebooks and. Swimming holes. Super Bowl. Money keep coming to me. Fuck a degree. Feeling a hundred degrees. Honey, we doubling bees. Something been troubling me. I need enough of the team. We all gonna eat. Better be studying me. Mastermind, go dumb on a beat. Hold on. I'm in my zone. I love how people are so quick to judge it. Obviously, we don't think he's good. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. I know rap. I know rap. Guys, <laughs> have you read the disclaimer lately? You really want to publicly dis are yourself in front of everybody yikes um i'm gonna show you another verse if you're not convinced at 8 30 you know really control yourselves that was super embarrassing it's not good it's not good it's not good i i uh... <laughs> it's just as good I now, love let's uh hear this if I you think don't this is his calling he should yes. stick with this but if you don't think that's good listen to this verse Wait till you hear this. This bangs. <laughs> Watch this. Yeah. To Cali for like seven days, motherfucker. Not a dollar in my pocket. I just fill it up with dreams. Yeah, look at Cali. Recipe to women. What a wee. Little baddies on. And she call me Betty on the beach. I be snapping paparazzi. Mac and Tally with a cheese. <laughs> Talking about the fromage. All that Parmigiano. Parmigiano. I get the bread like I'm Dino. Duck in the cops with the lotto. Now I'm off to Milano. Smoking gelato with models. We get it naked before we even get to open, open the, the bottle. bottle. I'm a dark red wine. You a drop dead dime. Got me working all day so I can spend my overtime. Push the pedal to the metal. Put a metal round your neck. Getting lucky on my bets. You number seven with the sex. I wanna put you on a jet. Fly you straight to my room. You a nasty little mommy. You were made for the boom. Need a maid in a broom. Promise I'ma go and clean up my act. Let me leave it at that. I lay my piece on the track. Push. A literal push into the hall. Get it? Yes. Macklin, man. Who am I messing with, huh? That was actually a verse. If that was re-recorded, that's a verse, dude. I mean, that's hard. You want to hear that again? Do that, right? I liked it. I think that verse was good. We get naked before we even open the bottle. <laughs> He's incredible. And Mac, I'm so sorry for doubting you. You actually are a, a brilliant MC. Uh, and you're a great pool. I'm going to hire him to do our pool, I think. Plus, I love the idea of the family's tiny being able to break into song. <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely updated for 2020. <coughs> Wait, but you should tell the people why he quit his music career. Um. Okay. Here's where things get good. Anybody could do this, right? Anyone could do Red Bar, but not everyone has access to my sources. So, I don't know how to go about this. Where do I, uh, oh, I could do it right here. I had someone contact me yesterday. And I, I, can't, I really got to be careful with what I say because I need this source. But it's somebody who I verified, and you need to trust me here because I, I can't say too much. It would give it away. I verified that this source knows exactly what he's talking about. I'm blown away. That's all I could say. Can't say anything else, but I could say I know that this guy's telling me exactly the truth and he proved it and that's how I know. Okay? So now you need to trust me before we go further. And I'll, I'll read you this. This is all good. Oh, 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 ah! My notes! 
<laughs> Exposed. No, they're very funny. Look at, at this. Mac builds a pool, wrapping scoops. Adam Curry talks to Rogan in new studio. JRE Curry, new set, pixelated pistol. I, I don't want to give anything away, but it's very funny stuff. Our show notes could be a coffee table book. They're, they're very gorgeous. They're funny. So um, I'm going to read you this. And now, hopefully, this won't do that thing again that it just did. Why? Why, why, why? Here we go. Okay, I'm going to read you this, and this is from a person. And this is all edited. It's not going to expose them, right? Okay. Yeah. You can keep this on the record. Mac wants out of the Maverick house. There was a lot of off-the-record stuff, too. So I know what's happening. So that's why I could put these pieces together. <laughs> you could keep this on the record, though, Mike. Mac wants out of the Maverick house. He's been very upset for a month about everything going on there. The podcast, when he blew up, that was the tipping point. That whole house is a mess. They all watch Red Bar. <laughs> Logan was pressuring Mac to come to L.A. for years before he actually did. Mac moved there to focus on music. When he got there, Logan told him he shouldn't pursue music anymore. Keep applying pressure, Mike. They will crack. Big Mike is so fragile. This is all real. I can tell you that. Some small scoops. Jake Paul has been knowingly spreading STDs around L.A. for a month. Now, maybe I am being lied to. In that case, it's on him. The liar. <laughs> Uh, it is pretty common for L.A. fags to be doing that, though. Still very scumming and a testament to who these people are. Greg Paul had a sex tape that leaked last year. That's why he's been quiet this year. Greg Paul is the worst. That's the dad. That's all we could show, right? These are just a copy. Oh, if you need proof of these fools, I will gladly send it over. Okay. He did send some proof. And he did send the proof. Wait, is this new? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Quite a, Greg Paul is the worst one out of these people. Trust me, I've seen it firsthand. Physically and verbally abusive to his sons and employees. That's cool. So, cool scoops. And I, I, obviously, I have this source now, so I'll let you know. I got a lot of sources now. Like, good people who know this needs to be done. People reaching out to me from, you wouldn't believe the people. Please, Mike, please. I'll expose them all once I get my goods. 